alarm bells going off inside the trucking industry about impending weakness. The tender rejection level just hit an all-time low, surpassing even the lows of COVID. As truckers become so desperate for cargo, they're accepting basically any rate for any shipment. And my next guest says it could get even worse from here. Joining us is Craig Fuller. He is the Freight Waves founder and CEO. Craig, it's good to have you on today. Welcome. Uh, thanks, Kelly. Thanks for having me. I have to confess, every time I, I look at what you or others in the industry are tweeting lately, it's been a lot of bad news. So what exactly happened? And is it macro or is it industry specific? Yeah, it is certainly doom and gloom. Uh, some have described this as as bad as the Great Recession. And I've even heard statements that it, they are folks that believe it will actually get worse than Great Recession. So that just tells you how much pain is currently in the market. Um, really, what's caused this is a classic boom and bust cycle. You know, trucking at its core is a commodity. Uh, which means when you have really robust uh, pricing and robust conditions, you're going to have a lot of new entrants that enter the market to take advantage of that. And that has caused the bus cycle. So as really we've come off the COVID economy, sort of round trip the broader economic activity in the goods economy, um, what we've also ended up with is a lot more capacity than we had before. That's super interesting because obviously that happens in commodities all the time. You know, you get oil prices go to 100, a ton of people start drilling. Next thing you know, they're at 30 and everyone's debt go bad and it goes bad. No one can recover. So is the, I mean, how much worse could it get? And, and is there a macro sort of warning point here or is it just, hey, there were too many people who came into the industry. They all need to go out of business, but there's no larger business cycle implications. Well, there's certainly that element of a trucking specific sort of run on it, different between the oil sector and what we see in trucking is the barriers to entry to start a trucking company are uh, just don't exist. It's True. very easy for someone to go buy a truck and get financing. Whereas if I'm going to uh, drill for oil, it's a lot more capital that's involved as, as well as I have to have those leases, which tend to, to go at much higher rates than what it takes to run a trucking company. So what you end up with is a market because it is so accessible and there is no moat, uh, it's very easy for people to get into the market. I think looking forward and what this means for the U.S. economy uh, really at large is the goods part of the economy uh, has largely slowed down. We're seeing that through a lot of the core sectors that drive freight demand. Um, and, but we believe, at least our assumptions and our assessments are, is that uh, the freight market is telling us, if you sort of believe that the freight market is a leading indicator by about six months, the broader U.S. economy, uh, we believe that the broader U.S. economy is slowing down more so than what uh, a lot of people uh, recognize, simply because we're seeing such uh, uh, really soft freight demand. Oh, sure. What um, about people who say, well, that's just because everyone's, you know, in hotels and on airplanes and they're traveling to the Caribbean and it's all services now. And so the goods thing is, is over exaggerated. Well, some of that's certainly true. There has been a displacement in how consumers spend their money. Uh, but when you look at the sectors that drive a lot of the core parts of our economy, things like housing uh, and really the whole uh, elements around the housing sector, uh, that certainly is, is showing signs of, of concern. But really just discretionary goods consumption. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a friend that owns a small liquor store. Uh, he's down 11 percent year over year simply because people are not buying as much of these goods. You look at the cardboard box industry. They're also reporting a, a lot of challenges. And so certainly this is a goods challenge or a goods part of the economy challenge. But I think it's going to play out in the broader part of the economy as these sectors slow down. There sure. just isn't as much production. You know, it, it's like, but the Fed says, you know, maybe we'll skip what may, maybe we'll pause. You know, I just feel it. I wish I heard a little bit more urgency sometimes in, in responding to these early leading indicators. That aside, the last time we checked in with you is actually after the collapse of SVB. And your firm was directly impacted by that. In a way, I'm surprised that, you know, the industry more broadly hasn't been. But if you don't mind, just what's an update? How has it been for you the last couple of months kind of navigating that incredible uncertainty? Yeah, I mean, we were, as I told you on the last time I was here, uh, that our board was able to advance us the money. Uh, SVB systems came up uh, by Wednesday of that week. So we were actually not only able to make payroll by our own organic capital, but we also were able to access all of our uh, bank lines and uh, banking systems within just a couple of days. So it really was a uh, it certainly gave us concern and pause, but it didn't disrupt our business in any way that that has impacted us. I think one of the big concerns is just the talking to small business owners is what happens with bank lending and how the banks are responding in terms of uh, managing their own balance sheets and, and how willing they are to lend capital. Uh, certainly um, the trucking industry, the, the only party that can regulate 
new capacity or new entrance into the market are actually the banks. True. And so banks actually slowing down lending, while it's not a positive for the broader economy, it actually would be positive for the trucking economy because it means a lot of new entrants would not come into the trucking industry. So in some ways, we're looking at that. We've not seen any data that suggests the banks have tightened up credit to new uh, trucking companies, but it's something that we're certainly watching.